we're going to use N8N to set up a workflow where we can get the top GitHub trending project and send it straight to Slack. We're going to do this by using the Gobi API to spin up a browser use agent in the cloud. The first thing we need to do is go to N8N and set up a new workflow from scratch. We're going to set up a scheduled trigger so that it fires once a day. Next, we're going to add an HTTP request node. We're going to set the method to post, and for the URL, we're going to use the new task endpoint from the Gobi API docs. We'll set the authentication to generic credential type, and we'll set the generic auth type to header auth. Then for the credential, we'll click on create new credential. For the name, we'll put x-api-key. And for the value, we'll paste the API key that we can get from the Gobi console. Then we'll save the credential and then toggle the send body switch. The body is the JSON request that goes to the Gobi API. We'll put in a prompt that says go to GitHub trending and find the top trending project. And we'll give it a JSON schema to tell it what kind of data we want to get off of the page. In this case, we're asking for the name, repo URL, star count, and primary language of the project. Then we'll execute the step to make sure that that step works. And you should see a result with all of the requested values populated. And next, we'll add the Slack send message node. We'll tell it to send a message to a channel. And then we'll put in a template that uses those structured values that we got from the Gobi API. We can test this step as well to make sure that the Slack connection is working properly. And now we're ready to test the complete workflow. We'll just hit the Execute Workflow button, which will trigger Gobi to spawn a browser in the cloud that will go to the GitHub trending page, extract the values as a structured JSON document, and then publish a message to our Slack channel. This workflow will send us a message once a day with the latest trending project.